police have called in assistance from the military. It's not suggested the drones are terror-related, but their flights are tracking the airport's runway and in and outbound flight paths. In other words, it is a deliberate act of disruption. Each time we, get, we, we believe we get close to the operator, the drone disappears. When we look to reopen the airfield, the drone reappears. So I'm absolutely convinced it's a deliberate act to disrupt Gatwick Airport. Police say they are reluctant to shoot down the drones because of the risk from stray bullets and falling debris. The manhunt involving police from across the south of England continues. This is one of Britain's busiest airports with 760 flights due to arrive or depart on a daily basis. More than 100,000 people have had their journeys interrupted. Inside the airport, 11,000 people are stranded. It's a scene of chaos with lanes even for a cup of coffee reportedly taking hours. Inbound flights are being diverted to airports hundreds of miles from London. And Gatwick says it'll take days for a return to normal, even after the runway reopens. Richard Bestick, CGTN, Gatwick Airport, Southern England.